much as they were a great team back then, uh, of course, in that era of football, you, 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 can't, you can't cast aside the great teams of Ghana and yeah. Cameroon and all those. And we matched those teams. Um, and I still believe today, and a lot of people believe today, we would have matched the Nigeria side back mm. then as well. Um, so we've evolved. Um, you know, we've taken on Nigeria in the past. And there's no question that the, the games don't come bigger than this one. Um, and this is, this is why it's important that the country gets behind the team. Yeah, no, in my opinion as well. I think, like you've indicated, we beat Ghana, we beat Cameroon in that Nations Cup. And I think on the day, we would have beaten any team had Nigeria come as well. And, you know, whether they were there or not is irrelevant. Uh, we won that cup in 96 and we played them a few times. Remember also in 2000, we unfortunately lost to them in the semi-final. Uh, but after that, uh, you know, we managed to beat them in the Nelson Mandela Cup. And then also now a year, a year ago, we beat them in Uyo. So it's a massive game, but I honestly believe it's on the day what you put into the match and if you carry out the instructions the result will always be on your side it is on the day and most of those games are especially these big games as well when you and you look at how we've evolved against nigeria we yeah. struggled with them in the past um and 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 how we got towards those victories and, and listen i mean we've got to say that someone like Stuart Bass has been a massive part of those mm. victories he's been here yeah. for it um, it, and, and it's because he's been able to, to, to guide us to that level. Yeah. Um, and what we need is a team to take on the big, the big names of Nigerian football. I mean, you look at the, the, the players that they've got in their, in, in, in their squad as well. They're top name players playing with top name clubs around the world. And so it's a credit to us and a, and a feather in our cap that we've not only been able to match teams like Nigeria in, yeah. in recent times, but beat them. Yeah. yeah, I think hopefully, obviously, that will be a good omen for us. Stewart has never lost to Nigeria. Uh, I think the last time I encountered Nigeria, I managed to score a goal against them. So um, hopefully that'll be good uh, on Saturday. And we know it's going to be a tough game, but I think, like you've said, uh, the national team is well prepared. We've got quality players in our squad. And hopefully the support will also come out because during our time, that was a massive motivation for us. That doesn't mean that you're going to come on in this game. <laughs> uh, highly unlikely. Just checking. But if you had to, I have no doubt that uh, you'd affect the game like you used to, like you used to in the past. But you're right, it's about the talent we have in the squad. It's mm. about the squad that you have has chosen. And we believe, along with him, that this is some of the best names that we can assemble yeah. for a big game like this. And, you know, records are there. That's, that's all they are. We've got to go ahead in this particular game and we've got to start from scratch. And we've got to do the right things. We've got to play in the right structures like the players we do. Mm. Um, and we'll, we'll back them all the way. And I'm, I'm excited about the game, as you are. Yeah, and the beauty about this game is it doesn't matter who you have on paper. It's on between those four white lines what you put in the effort and the desire and hopefully our boys will show that on Saturday and like I always say one two three four five six seven nine ten Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thank you